Hi, I'm Dom. Hi, Leo. And today, I want to show you how you can create a custom forwarder channel that looks like a real Nintendo channel, but actually forwards to a different WAD on your Wii. If you didn't understand what I said, basically we're going to be recreating what we saw in the preview, the Mii channel that actually goes into a Rickroll. This is possible by using two different channels on your Wii, making a copy of the Mii channel, then changing some of the code within the WAD or the file of the channel file and making it forward to a different channel on your Wii. The reason why we don't see that channel is because I simply pushed it back to the last page. So whenever an unsuspecting person clicks on the channel, it will actually forward to a different channel. It's a pretty cool trick and I want to show you how you can do it. We already did this yet. We already did this yesterday. So we're going to show you how to do it again. But again, depending on what channel you use, your results may vary. Before I begin, I also want to mention that there is always a risk of you bricking your Wii. So always make sure to test it in Dolphin and make sure that you have proper brick protection on your Wii console like Preloader or BootMe. I have both installed and they are running great. Before we begin, you're going to need the following things. You're going to need an SD card with at least two gigs of space on it. You're going to need the homebrew channel and a modded Wii, obviously. You're going to need brick protection on your Wii because honestly, I would never recommend installing any type of Wii channel without brick protection. And you're also going to need software in the homebrew channel to allow you to install the WAD. I use Multi Mod Manager, but Wii Mod Lite also works pretty good too. And if you don't have any of that, you can always just run the channel in Dolphin Emulator and you don't even have to install anything. Everything that is all the Wii system menu stuff is already um, in Dolphin. So you just have to install it when you get Dolphin pretty easy and I'll put the links down below in the description. Also I want to mention that I'm not entirely sure if this works with a V Wii or the Wii that's on the Wii U. I'm not sure about that so someone can test that if they want but like I said not responsible for anyone bricking their Wii. So we're going to go ahead and test this with Dolphin today but I'll also show you how to install it on a real Wii. Okay, so the programs we're gonna be using to do, get this done are Customize Me, Nuts Downloader, Mod Me, and we're also going to need a WAD to forward to. The way this channel works is by taking the Nintendo channel that's already included, a Nintendo pre-installed channel that's already on your Wii, like the Me channel, changing its .dol file to tell the channel when you click start to forward it to a different channel that's on your Wii. So you're going to need to have two channels installed. The copy channel, that is a copy of whatever pre-installed channel it is, or it can be a unique channel, doesn't really matter. And you're also going to need the channel that it's going to forward to. The Rickwall channel, by the way, was brought to you by MRT84, who made that channel. He's really He really makes great mods. Am I right, Gio? Yeah, I watch his, uh, I watch him, and I like to him. He watched my video, too. Yeah, he even watched Gio's video and wrote a good job on it. That was kind of cool. I think he will watch my uh, tutorial. Hopefully, he'll watch our tutorial. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to want to go ahead and open up NUS Downloader. So go ahead and open up nusdownloader.exe. So as you can see here, we're going to have a few different things here. We're going to go ahead and click database. We're going to go over here to the channel you want. Um, channel we want is the me channel. So it's right here, oh, me channel. For one no all slash system. Now, on some of these, you'll see ones that have specific regions Japan, European, PAL, USA, NTSC. So, if you're trying to do one that's for a specific region, make sure that the region of your Wii console matches up with the region of the channel you're installing. On some channels, this doesn't matter. For instance, the Me channel can be installed on all systems, but for like the News channel, you have to make sure that you're installing one for your region. USA slash NTSC would be for North American consoles. You can look at the bottom of your Wii and you should know the region. So make sure you do that depending on the channel. For me channel, we're not going to need this. It's an all system channel. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and click latest version. 
because we're running 4.3 U. That's another thing I would recommend is make sure your system is running 4.3 U before or 4.3 just in general. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get down here. It's gonna say me channel. Make sure to click this button here, pack wad, because we're going to want it to be a wad. Go ahead and click start nest download. All right, so now that we've done that, um, we have our download title completed and the nest download is completed. So now that's done. Go here to titles and I actually have a couple in here, but we're gonna go with 221 because it just was 221. And we're gonna see the dot wad RVL uh, NR slash dash six dot wad. We're gonna go ahead and click, um, we're going to go ahead and click it and click control C um, and then paste it here. That way we have a copy of it here. That's not necessary, but it just makes it easier. So now let's go ahead and launch mod me. So you're gonna see this thing, software is not for sale. Um, we're gonna go ahead and type in I agree. So from here, we're going to wanna go ahead and click um, A. And then we're gonna go ahead and click F for forwarder doll ISO builder. And it's going to ask you what type of forwarder would you like to build? In this case, we're there's multiple options, but we're going to click dual, which is number oh, one. ISO. Oh. ISO, but we're gonna do dual for now. Do not touch ISO, we're gonna do dual. Hit one. All right, so now there's multiple options here. USB forwarder, URL forwarder, and a channel forwarder. We're going to make a channel forwarder. Okay, now it's going to say you need to type in the four character title ID of the channel that you want to load. So what does this mean? Well, a title ID is what the Wii uses to separate different channels from itself. Because we're going to be using this channel to forward to the Rickwell channel, we need to know what the Rickwell channel's title ID is. To do this, let's open up Customize Me. So we're gonna type, drag this in here. From here, we're gonna go ahead and click Options, and you're gonna see Title ID. In this case, it's called Rick. Now, I also wanna mention that with the Title ID, you can always change this in Customize Me if you want to. However, and if you do, that's fine. However, make sure that the Title ID does not conflict with any other Title IDs you have on your system. So make sure you come up with something that's really, really unique. Another way to see what Title IDs you already have on your system installed is by going into an app like Multi-Mod Manager or we mod light those will tell you the channels that you have so we know that it's rick we can go ahead and close this we're going to go ahead and type in all right r i c k and enter you're going to say make a name for your forwarder now for the name for the forwarder we're going to call this the me channel because it is a me channel this one doesn't matter it doesn't it doesn't conflict with anything go ahead and click enter now from this we're going to go ahead and click one okay so we click one, and now we're gonna go ahead and click D. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and see an advanced download forwarder, and we're going to click yes, begin downloading. Ooh, fancy sound. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and click open file location, copy to SD by pressing O. And now we're going to see copy to SD. Go to go to dolls and you're going to see, I already made one before, um, but this is me channel. So we'll go ahead and copy this by clicking control C on your keyboard. And now you can close out um, mod me. And let's go ahead and paste this dot doll file here. So how we have me channel dot doll. Okay, so how do we get this doll into the me, ch me channel? Well, again, we're gonna be opening up customize me and we're going to see the menu here. So let's go ahead and take the channel, the me channel here, and drag it in. And you're gonna see source block. From title, you can change the name of the channel if you want, but we're not gonna be doing that here today. One thing we are gonna be changing, however, is the title ID. Because we already have the me channel installed on our Wii, and we don't wanna overwrite the me channel as it's an integral part for many Wii games, we don't wanna overwrite it. So we're going to make sure to change this title ID. We're gonna be changing this to something else. So we're gonna change this to the Rick Astley Me Channel or Ramp. Yeah, so that's the Rick Astley Me Channel. So now that we've changed our title ID, let's go ahead and change our DOL file. Go ahead and click Browse, click Load DLL File, and make sure to navigate to the Wii Channel Forwarder section. We're going to see that Me Channel doll we made, and this is basically what it's going to do is tell that this channel that it's not gonna to go to the me channel anymore, it's gonna forward it to the Rickwell channel, which we're gonna have installed. Now that we've done that, go ahead and click Create WAD. Um, we're going to be clicking No, and then we're going to go ahead and save our WAD. And bam, it was that easy. If you notice, it's actually very low in file size, less than a megabyte as well, because it's just a forwarder. So now that we've done that, now we have our new me channel created. 
we also have our Rickroll channel created. So let's go ahead and get, get them installed. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get, get them installed. We're first going to demonstrate this with Dolphin, as I would always recommend install checking with Dolphin first. Now I've already had my Dolphin set up for quite some time as I use it frequently to play games on my computer with better performance, obviously. Dolphin can sometimes be a bit heavy on machines, but running the Wii system menu shouldn't be a problem for a lot of Windows PCs. So I would just recommend checking it out. Obviously we're gonna wanna load our Wii system menu. Now if you first install Dolphin, you're not gonna see this. And when you first launch it, you're not going to see load Wii system menu. So what you're going to want to do when you first get Dolphin installed is click perform online system update and click USA or whatever region you've created your WAD for, but in this case US, and then um, you'll be able to load the Wii system menu. So now that load system menu is an option, make sure to load up your um, emulator and um, make sure to open it up. I have some custom shaders and stuff, so it may not look exactly like this. I already have channels installed. Some of this stuff's already installed. It's not gonna be like this for you. It's gonna be different. But basically, you're gonna launch the Wii system menu. Yeah, I even have a custom theme installed on here. So it's, it will look different for you when you first install it. So let's go ahead and um, close this. We're gonna click yes. So now that you've done that, um, now that you've installed the Wii system menu, we're gonna go ahead and click tools install WAD, navigate to where we have both WADs, Wii Channel Forwarder, and we're going to go ahead and first install the, um, it doesn't matter what in what direction you install both WADs. So we're gonna install our new Mi Channel. Then we're going to click, click it again and install the channel we're going to be forwarding to. You have to install both in order for it to work properly. Now that we've done this, let's load the Wii system menu again. All right, so here we are, Wii. All right, so now that we've installed this, let's go ahead and get started here. Oops, I accidentally clicked that. All right, so now that we've installed everything, let's go ahead over here and you're gonna see a new me channel and you're also gonna see the Rick Astley channel, so, or whatever channel you're gonna be forwarding to. So in this case, we have the Rick World channel and we now have the second me channel. So now let's go ahead and test the me channel. So let's go ahead and test a new me channel. We're gonna click it. Just, just like the me channel, we're gonna hit click start. And if all is right, there we go. As you can see, there is a now fully functioning Rickroll channel on your Wii that's playing Rick Astley's 1986 hit, Never Gonna Give You Up. So now we should be able to go home Okay, so now we're going home, and we now know that it works. So now in order to pull the prank properly, we're going to move the Mii channel out of its proper position, and move it down here with a bunch of other channels, and move the Mii channel, which looks identical, completely identical. We're also gonna move the Rick Astley channel. So now when someone unsuspectingly opens the Mii channel, they'll think, oh, it's just the Mii channel. And when we click start, uh-oh. It's Rick Astley. Keep in mind, installing the forwarder, like we said, because we did not change the title ID, it won't overwrite the actual Mii channel. So let's go back into the other Mii channel and see if it still works. So this is the original Mii channel. You're going to notice something. It's the Mii channel, obviously. So when creating the forwarder, you wanna make sure to have a different title ID than the actual channel that's pre-installed on your Wii. In this case, it's H-A-C-A -A for the Mii channel. We changed it to R-A-M-C. So that way the Wii doesn't get confused and delete the original Mii channel, which you need to function on a Wii, basically. So now that we've done that, let's try installing it on a real Wii console. Now console. Now, like I said, there's always a risk to doing this, but we're going to do this anyway, because for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to do this anyway. So, same type of thing here, but there's more steps. So, we have rickwell.wad and me channel. We have rickwell.wad and ramp.wad, and we're gonna go ahead and install these on a real Wii. Like I said, there's always a risk to installing stuff on a real Wii, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, so now we're here at our real Wii. We have a red Mario edition Wii that I I mean, I'm sorry, but the red Wii just looks so good. 
I also have a red theme on here, courtesy of Reconnect24, and I also have all their services on here, although it is not connected to the network right now, but anyway. Um, so this is the card that we're using. This is the SC card. It has all my Wii mods on it. Okay, it's out of focus. There it is, the uh, 32 gig SanDisk Ultra. Um, really doesn't matter. We're gonna be putting this in our Wii. By the way, I might mention that if you already have Wii homebrew mods, you have the SD card in your Wii, make sure to use that SD card to copy the stuff to. So we're gonna go ahead and put that SD card in there. We heard the sound. And now we're gonna go ahead and launch the homebrew channel, or in this case, my favorite channel, the races channel. Hello. That's my favorite channel, honestly. Hello. That Reese's Puffs channel is a channel forwarder. I believe MRT84 also made that, no. but it just shows you the power of channel forwarders. So let's go ahead and launch Multi Mod Manager. You can also use Wii Mod Lite. I use this one. It really doesn't matter. They're both very similar. Of course, it is bouncing all around here because I'm trying to point it and I got lights and stuff that kind of screw with it. So now that we're in Multi Mod Manager or. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and click on um, a couple things. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and click load Nutter iOS, and we're going to go load to, um, 249, as you can see there, let's go ahead and click that reloading to iOS 249. Now we're going to go up here to WAD manager. Now it's automatically going to go to a folder called WAD. Now when you transfer it to your SD card, you might transfer it to WAD, but I already have a lot of WADs in here. So we're going to go back. And I made one called A1 Mods. That way it's at the top of the list because it's alphabetical. And we have both mods here. So we're going to go ahead and install both. So we have me channel ramp.wad. Again, make sure before you install it on your Wii that it has a different title ID. I can't stress that one enough. We're going to go ahead and install that. And the blue light's going to start blinking on your Wii. And go ahead and click install rickwell.wad. And we'll see the blue light install. Okay, so now we're finished. We're going to go ahead and click A. Um, hit Use the back button on your Wii. Um, and then click home and it's going to say exiting up at the top exiting <clears throat> and um now we're going to go home, home. exit the oh i shut down but you can shut down too it don't really matter reconnect 24 press a to continue the eight years probably won't look like that i have a custom theme all right so there you go now we have everything installed so everything looks the same but if we go to our next available slots you're going to see we have the me channel and the Rickwell channel. Like I said, both are going to need to be installed. So when we go, let's go ahead and test this on a real Wii. So let's open the Me channel. So it looks just like the Me channel. Let's go ahead and click start. And it should realistically, the first time you launch, it's gonna say creating a save file, but it won't do that. And there you go, Rick Astley on our Wii. Beautiful. And we're going to go home. And now we can go ahead and rearrange the channels and it will look just like the real Wii cha Me channel, but it will actually be Rick Astley. So anyway, there's your tutorial on how to do it. I'm sorry if I really couldn't explain it that well or if I messed up in certain parts. Like I said, this is my first tutorial um on the wii so i'm sorry if my tutorial is not as good as some other ones but anyway that is how you can do and make your own custom wii channels like i said this may only work with some wii channels not all of them and i am not responsible if you brick your wii there's always a risk of that happening anyway thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this content make sure to subscribe because we're going to do some more videos on the wii and in some other nintendo videos as well and um yeah Nintendo. We're big fans of Nintendo, so we love Nintendo and Nintendo products. And so, thank you guys for watching. Um, go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. But you never really had a doubt I don't believe that